Welcome to this short film made in celebration of VE Day 75. In the spirit of all propaganda, I have left out all the nastiness about lockdown and left only the fun things. Enjoy! Here's a typical Ipswich School family gathered around the wireless. They're waiting to hear the latest news about coronavirus in summer term 2020. Will they be going back to school on Monday? Or will they be working from home? At the moment, they all think working from home is going to be a right jolly jape. What's that, Mum? The news is coming in? Well, they look like they're well pleased with staying at home. They'll change their minds later. So we all stayed home and tried to make the best of it. We may allow ourselves a brief period of rejoicing. First, we all thought the lockdown was going to be a lovely opportunity to get on with the things we all enjoy doing outside of work. Cooking and cleaning our homes and redecorating. We all thought this was going to be a marvellous opportunity and we dreamed of a lovely life at home. Pleasures like sitting down and having a cup of tea were all the rage at first, perhaps with members of your family or enjoying the solitude of being alone. If you didn't have family and friends around, that's okay. Many people may do with their teddy bears and other toys that they happen to have around the place. A soldier is in love with the right kind of man when he says, Fall in. This exams officer is normally deeply concerned with sitting students in rows and keeping them quiet. Now all she's worried about is keeping her stitches in rows and drinking her tea. Jolly good. For the girl who weds a soldier is the girl who adores a parade. She becomes herself a soldier. She's a part of the grand cavalcade. And with all that baking going on, we soon ran out of flour and everything else. It was time to go to the shops. This family is saying goodbye to their brave father as he heads out to Morrison's in search of toilet paper, pasta and the things that everybody wants. Will they see him again today or tomorrow or next week? Nobody really knows. What a brave man. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye. Once again, you and I wish me luck as you... So many families were left waiting for their brave soldiers to return from the supermarket. This lady has just seen her husband come back from the kitchen. She's overjoyed. But I know This brave soldier has managed to get pasta and toilet paper. Some selfish brutes with their panic buying left the supermarket shelves empty. 
There is a new type of black market. Beware of that knock at the door. This family are about to be the victim of a profiteer. A spiv is at the door, and look what he's offering. Those super soft sheets are tempting, but no! Send him away! That's it, little girl! Chase him away! Naughty spiv! Brave girl, see him off! Couple of jiggers of moonlight and as a star. Soon the supermarkets were restocked and we could get anything we wanted within reason. And we ate it all. Now at a couple of flowers, a drop of dew. Everybody started baking. If you want to make a wartime pie, you'll need these things. Fry them like this. And then pop them into the oven for a few moments. Next time you open the door, a delicious dinner will have appeared. Yum! These people are loving it. Follow the simple directions and they will bring Life of another complexion where you be king You will awake in the morning and start to sing no more playgrounds for children to play in. Their new playmates were parents and siblings. Everything had to be done from home, even school. At first this looked like it was going to be great fun and everybody enjoyed collecting together their books and sitting at a table. We found quickly that discipline was what was most important. Children could not be left to be idle. Well done mum. She knows best. For many, homeschooling was just too much and we retreated to our gardens or even to the end of a field to avoid having to explain fronted adverbials. This lady has buried all the maths books in her garden so her children can't possibly find out that she can't remember how to do long division. Other parents took to their sheds pretending to be very busy with important things instead of having to explain key stage 2 maths. Take that column method.
Being restricted by social distancing and only seeing our friends on screens meant that keeping an eye on our neighbours was more important than ever. This man's keeping his windows nice and clean so he can report his neighbours for going out to exercise more than once a day. Chatting to your neighbours over the fence is still allowed so long as you keep two metres distance, but what do you do when your hedge has grown so high you can't see over it? These two have managed to get by by shouting and smoke signals. What's that? She sent a coded message. He learnt on Dad's army that a broom handle gives a useful two meters distance. Don't come any closer. And here's some top tips for managing your hair in lockdown. You may not be able to get to the hairdressers, but screw fix are still open and you can spray it with hammerite to cover your roots coming through. Serious problems can be covered up by flowers. Oh dear, did your mum cut your fringe? Never mind, put some flowers on it. It's been a testing few weeks where we've cried tears both of frustration and joy. And now to conclude our film is a regal lady, a sort of monarch of Ipswich School, to gather our thoughts together and give us some hope. I hope in the years to come everyone will be able to take pride in how they responded to this challenge. And those who come after us will say that the Ipswichians of this generation were as strong as any that the attributes of self-discipline, of quiet, good-humoured resolve and of fellow feeling still characterise this school. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. And now, to get our celebrations going with a genuine swing, here's Evan, the one-man band with In The Mood.